Hey guys, my name is AJ Atomica and I'm going to show you how to get three recording sources synced up today. Maybe you're doing let's, uh, either Let's Play videos on YouTube, gaming wise, or you just like to record uh, face cam whilst you're playing live and also have um, an external microphone for a better audio quality because let's face it, the webcam doesn't have a great microphone. If you want to know how to do this, I'm going to show you how to do it now. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, so let's get started. Okay, the three recording programs that I use personally for when it comes to recording my audio to start with, I use Audacity. I can't think of a better a free audio recording software. It does everything I need it to do. It's probably actually a lot more powerful than what I need it to do, but it serves its purpose and it's free. So shout out to Audacity there. The webcam recording software I use is just the default re webcam recording software. Uh, you can see me. Of course, when this video is actually edited, I'll probably be <clears throat> somewhere up here in the right or left hand corner, probably the right hand corner because it's pretty empty. But here's the actual recording I'm doing right now using the Logitech webcam software. Nothing special, just record the video. And what I use to record my PlayStation, at least, um, my PC is a different setup. I'll go get into that. Oh, I've actually done a video on that already. It's using the Shadow Play feature of the GeForce Experience. But for recording my PlayStation gameplay, I use Hophog Capture because I have a Hophog HD PVR2. There's my PlayStation is off at the moment, so the video, the gameplay would be here, and there's you know the record button and everything there. And I'm going to show you how I sync all these separate recording sources up. I've already got my video files and audio file imported into my video editing software, which in this case is Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I think it's a really good video editing software and ever since it went to the Creative Cloud service it's much cheaper for people like me to be able to use powerful editing software like this without having to pay hundreds of pounds. Okay, I haven't pre-synced these up in the timeline yet and I'm going to show you how I do that. I always drag and drop in the gameplay first. So let's get the audio because obviously you want to go by the audio audio tracks for this for the audio sync and let's drop in my face cam make it a little bit bigger and expand the audio for that as well and then we drop in my separate audio recording from audacity Right, I did something here which you can actually see in the audio in the audio timeline. I did something called a collapsing. What it basically does it's pretty visually obvious what it actually does. It creates three spikes in both the webcam recording and also the microphone. And you use those three spikes to sync up your video and your audio when you're doing uh, two separate recordings. It's how like behind the scenes of a TV series or films, they use a clapper board, it's like the, the black and white board that they use to create a sudden audio spike in the audio recording and also the camera audio visual recording as well. So they sync up the separate audio recording, in this case my microphone and the webcam, so you can actually have a visual and an audio sync of when the audio is actually coming in. And I'm going to show you what that looks like with my webcam. I'll actually increase the size of my webcam here. Just so you can see it, as me earlier. I'll leave these purposely out of sync, just so you can see, because you can see where it is here at the bottom of the timeline. So when I play it, you hear six claps. Obviously, the the video and the audio is out of sync. Let's play the. Okay, okay. We are doing. We are doing. So you can hear the two separate recordings there. So let's sync them up. Let's sync up the audio. I'm using keyboard sh shortcuts here to try and sync up the audios. And we're simply going by visuals here. And it should be pretty close. Slightly out, you can hear it. One slightly before the other. There we go. Just so you can hear it again. 
that's perfectly in sync now. So what I do in this instance is because I no longer need the audio from the webcam because that's obviously the shit audio. I just delete that track. And these are synced up. So let's unlink. Clear the audio. Highlight the two and link these two. If you already know how to use Premiere Pro, then this will be pretty should be pretty obvious on what I'm doing. If you don't know what I'm doing, I'll explain the keyboard shortcuts now. <laughs> They're pretty simple. All I'm doing to highlight is control and then clicking on to highlight more than one. Pretty much the same as any other program. You hold control and then you can click on individual sources to highlight them. And when you want to see all the options here like copy, clear, delete, unlink, group, you just right click on the video audio selection. It's really that simple. That's if you're using Premiere Pro. I don't know what it's like in Sony Vegas or anything like that. I haven't used Sony Vegas in years. So now going back to the audio sync and I play it back. The green bar at the bottom here is my blue snowball ice microphone audio. It's not the webcam. So when I play it, it's perfectly synced up with the video. And now we're going to sync up the gameplay. As you can see there, it's perfectly in sync. I don't need to do any more now. That's perfectly synced up. I'll just leave this over here. And now what you're going to see in the background, a little hint of it, is how I sync up the gameplay. Okay, the way I personally choose to sync up gameplay, it might be pretty obvious what I'm actually doing if you're looking at the video now. I basically use the clap sync example, but in the actual system settings of the PlayStation to, and using the visual of the controller along with the Blue Snowball microphone to try and sync everything up. It's I don't know of a better way to do this rather than, you know, a lot of people just go 3, 2, 1 and hit record and then sync it up that way. I prefer to actually still have the vid the visual and the audio cue of the the sounds being created so that I know it's perfectly in sync. I personally choose when it comes to syncing up the PlayStation, I go into the system settings and then I hover over the system button just simply because I found it seems to be the most fastest and responsive button in the system options for the PlayStation to go, to enter and come back out of, which to me is pretty important when you're trying to sync up visuals and audio. So let's there we go. So you got, you hear it there. You got the sound of the button being pressed in the in the PlayStation audio in the background. You hear it, and then because it's not synced up yet, you hear me pressing the controller button. Just like that. So let's move this along a little bit in the timeline because I've not got enough space at the end there. Deselect it. So let's try and zoom in a bit. We have a good indication of the audio spike here and also the controller here. So I kind of have a good idea as to where they should be in relation to each other. Sounds just out because obviously you're going to hear the button press pretty much exactly on the sound or just before it. So let's go a little bit along. The keyboard short, shortcut I'm using, if you're using it, Premiere Pro again, is I'm holding Alt and I'm pressing the arrow keys to move the timeline along as long as it's highlighted. If I was to highlight the video and do the same, it would move the video along. And it's moving it along by increments of, like, increments of a tenth of a second, I think it is. So we move those together. That sounds pretty spot on to me, but I'm a bit OCD like this. So I'd like to move it back and forth a bit more just to see. So that's better. That's synced up better now. Okay. All right. So as you can see in the space of a couple of minutes, we've managed to sync up video and audio in our timeline. Not very hard to do at all. And of course, when it comes to using different recording um, softwares, you're going to have some 
overlap in terms of like either the video is going to run longer or the gameplay is going to run longer. You know, it's not going to be perfectly in sync at the start and the end. So all you do, obviously, in your video editing software, you just cut those bits off. Let's try and find the bit where I'm actually talking in the gameplay. I think it's here, looking at the audio. Okay, gameplay, video, and audio should all be synced up. Yep, there we go. So let's cut that down. Again, using keyboard shortcuts, C and V to go between the clipping tool and just back to the normal pointing tool. Uh, then we'll just cut off the end here just to make it nice and neat. Clear, and then we'll go, as you can see, when we zoom out a bit more, we've got a perfect block of synced up video and audio. So when we start it, okay, gameplay, video, and audio should all be synced up. Just running around in Destiny in the tower. Just to show you the that everything is should all actually be synced up now. And also taking a look at the, the pretty candles. There we go, and that's it, that's all you do. Something simple to do, if you're new to YouTube or want to get into the, the gaming scene, or want to get into the gaming recording whilst having a face cam and separate audio, this is the best way that I've found to do it. It's not the, the best way to do it, it's just my own personal way of doing it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully you take something from it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. And leave any feedback and comments, that'd be great. Also, don't forget to share the video. It helps my videos get noticed and my channel get noticed as well. And if you're new to the video, please subscribe. Cheers, guys. See you soon.